Okay, morning guys. Quick video for you today. I'm often getting questions on my, mainly on Instagram, but I usually reply on here because it's easier and you can do a longer video, um, about cheap EDC pocket knives, you know, that the average guy can buy, take to work. Cheap but not rubbish. Sort of like in a fixed blade, a Mora knife. It's cheap but it's de definitely not rubbish. It's a good utility knife. You can use it for hunting, fishing, whatever you want to do. Okay, so I had a couple of requests for a folding knife. And then I saw this at on Henny Haynes, the website here in the UK. Though I've checked, you can get them in the States as well. It's the QSP um, Pelican knife. Quite interesting. It is made in China. It's less than 30 quid here in the UK. So I'm guessing 30, probably the same, but in dollars in America. The interesting thing about this one is it's less than 30 quid, but it's D2 blade steel which is an excellent blade steel, excellent working blade steel. It's not one of the Chinese steels. And the handle's a linen marcata. So, let's open up. Comes in a snazzy box, like we care. Let's get this out of the way. I'm at work, I'm at work. Comes with a little card, showing the breakdown of the knife you bought. Little bird, box, okay. And here we are. It's a nice size knife. Deep pocket per clip as standard. I'll show you that in the jittens in a minute. But I've got knives three times the price of this that pocket clip is rubbish compared to this. Rubbisher? Is that a word? Least good. Okay. Um, it is linen marcata. As far as I can tell, it is marcata. I don't think it's the best in the world, but as far as I can tell, it is marcata. It's got two ambidextrous opening, which is good for you lefties, and you can swap the DK clip around to the other side, so that's good for lefties too. As you can see, let's get that knife in there. Sorry about the light, guys, it's pretty crap in here. Um, it's a worn cliff. It looks hollow ground. If it is hollow ground, it's the shallowest hollow ground I've ever seen. It's almost a sabre ground, but it could be hollow ground. It is pretty sharp. Let's see how sharp that is. Do the disgusting hair test. Yeah, yeah, that's that is that's pretty sharp. D two does get a really nice edge, and what's more, if it's treated right, it's really easy to keep a really good edge. So pros and cons. First thing, it's cheap. As I say, it's less. It's, I think I paid twenty six pound here in the UK for this. Um, it's a nice shaped blade. I'll show you what's great about the Warncliffe, maybe in comparison to what am I carrying normally today? Oh, another cheap knife. <laughs> the Tenacious. So you can see the blades are completely different. Okay. And um, I'll show you what's so great about that Warncliffe blade as a utilitarian knife. As an outdoor knife, mm, you could use it, but there are certain issues. And it's a kitchen knife. Once again, oh no, oh, you could cut through food prep with this, no problem really. But I've got to say, uh, the problem with it is, whereas this one's got a belly, and you can get a lot of the blade down and your hand doesn't touch. This one, because it's almost flat, if you put your hand flat, you've literally only got the tip of the blade. You could cut through things like that, but you want to slice. So not so good for food prep. But I don't think someone's going to buy this food prep. It's going to be a knockabout knife to use at work. So let's just give you an idea how good that one cliff blade is. Right guys, as mentioned I'll show you the pocket clip. Get my tenacious out of there. So really nice deep pocket clip, completely flush. For my bench made good tin I had to buy or order another deeper pocket clip they didn't come with it standard and a couple of my spider coats could learn from this as well nice and low easy out use a knife put it back yeah nothing wrong with that at all bargain okay and we're back in the room 
basically this is a box, I've already opened it, as I'm at work, had to get some stuff out of it, but I've taped it up again to show you what's so great about the Warncliffe. Basically, this is a utility blade. As you can see, it has a very similar shape to a Warncliffe knife. That's to say it all goes down to a point, there is no belly on the blade, no sweep up. But what makes that great is, as soon as you put it there, your wrist is nice and comfortable. One, two, and then you can just run it across. Now, obviously, we've all been opening boxes with our normal shaped blades of four, which you can do, but you'd, I'd find I have to tilt it a little bit further around, like that. And when it comes to doing that, your cross cut, I find you're using the belly more than you're using the blade. Yeah, classic. See, I've got the middle, but I haven't got the ends. Where's with the warm? Boom. Okay. Also, I cut up about 40 of these boxes a day. So we're going to see how it does that. See how they cut the box. <laughs> so I'm going to do this one. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. That's unreal. For a 30 quid knife, that's amazing. Yeah, that's fantastic. I reckon if you got home in the evenings, gave that a strop, you'd have a nice little utility blade. So, there we go. The QSP knife, it's in D2. I bought mine from Henny Haynes, but obviously you can find it from your favorite retailer. Henny Haynes was about 26 quid. I had no problem using them, they were really quick. I ordered them in the evening and it was there the next day. Um, it's Linen Macarta. I don't think it's the best, but it is, I'm pretty sure it is Linen Macarta. It's got a really nice functional Warncliffe blade. If I can get that in. If you're looking for a Warncliffe and you don't want to pay 90 quid for, uh, say, a Spoko Endura, then this is the one for you. Uh, as I say, Hollow ground, possibly, but it's a very shallow hollow ground if it is. Nice little utility blade. It is made in China, but personally, I have zero problems with that. All right, guys. There it is, the QSP Penguin Knife in D2. Less than £30. That's got to be a bargain, isn't it? Later. Okay, back again, just quickly to say... I just was at, I say I'm at work, I just went out the back and I cut up about eight, nine of those boxes. Eight or nine, ten maybe, let's say eight or nine. And I've just come back in and I thought, maybe I'll give that a strop. But I'll check it first and, and paper. Look at that. So maybe you don't need to strop it every few days because that, that to me is unreal. I mean, using it as a one cliff. So the one clip just gives you that ability to cut flat without having to use the lift your end, lift stuff to use the point. You can just put your hand nice and comfy. Yeah, now I've got this one for a giveaway, which I'm going to go and do over on my, um, I mean, I've got it to test it and to show my uh, subscribers that asked about it. But I was going to do this on a giveaway over on Instagram, which I still will, but I'm going to pick one of these up for me. They do it in a jeans one as well. I might get the jeans one next time, so it's a little bit different. But yeah, I think for 30 quid, 20, 26 quid, something like that, everyone should have one of these. Great, great little knife. Lockup's great, zero blade play. Zero blade play. Admittedly, it's a little bit stiff, but that'll loosen up and I reckon I could work on that with just a torque screw. But am I gonna get one? Hell yeah, I'm going to get one. Okay, I'm really going this time. Bye.